Final Fantasy 17 is a really big number because I only learned how to count up to 10. That and we just recently got Final Fantasy 16 this past June. With Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth on the way, it seems like we have plenty of Final Fantasy to look forward to. Not to mention that we just got a more extended look at Dawn Trail, the new expansion for Final Fantasy 14. And now, in a recent interview, it seems that Naoki Yoshida is talking about his next game. And and how Creative Business Unit 3 is already planning for it. Here is what he had to say in the interview with Nerd Bunker. And a special thank you to Kalia Gamer, one of my Twitter mutuals, for actually clipping this for us so that we can watch. I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the portion where Koji talks and translates what Yoshi P said. He was asked if Final Fantasy 16 could have any expanded media like an anime or a light novel. And here is what he had to say. So um, one thing that we already have announced um, is the tie-up um, with the, the Takarazuka um, group. Um, they have more than 100 years of history, and they're going to be taking the Final Fantasy 16 story and turning it into a stage, a live stage play. But beyond that, um, you know, to take any kind of... Uh, Thing from Final Fantasy 16, whether it be the main story or, or a side story, and turn that into, say, an anime or manga. Currently, we don't have any plans um, for that. That said, um, you know, because we currently don't have a lot of time to spend on that, um, we're working on DLC and also looking forward to, you know, the next game that we're going to plan on. Um, but that said, um, the PC version is going to come out and more players are going to get to play it and more players are going to get to see um, this world. And maybe there'll be people out there that they want to see more and so you have a lot of people that want to see more that's something we have to think about also there may be again um, another company out there that may say i want to take this game and i want to make it into an anime or a manga or a movie or something like that um we actually have been approached um already by people that are interested in something like that so it's it's an idea that's out there but it's not something that we currently have in plans and also looking forward to you know the next game that we're going to looking forward to DLC as well as the next game that's fascinating what is the next game that is the big question here originally creative business unit 3's main focus was final fantasy 14 as well as the upkeep of Final Fantasy XI and Dragon Quest X. However, in recent years, in order to fulfill the development of Final Fantasy XVI, they had to have a massive expansion, hiring a ton of new people, including Ryota Suzuki, the battle planner for Final Fantasy XVI, who is also known for his work on Devil May Cry V, Dragon's Dogma, and many other titles. This major expansion to create a business unit 3 got me really curious, because you have this MMO-focused division that now has a single-player team dedicated to it, and a massive AAA one at that. Sure, you could send this team back to work on projects like the new FF14 expansion or things like that, but this is a AAA single-player team. This is what they do. You would imagine that they'd be moving on working on new projects. Now, as for what Creative Business Unit 3's next big project could be that they're already planning for here, I 100% do do not think this is a new MMO. Final Fantasy XIV is getting a massive graphics overhaul. The game's popularity after the past expansion in Walker is just doing phenomenally well. There just really isn't a point for a new FF MMO. Of course, they mentioned that they're working on the Final Fantasy 16 DLC as well, and we still haven't really seen anything of that yet. I imagine that over the next couple of months, we're going to be getting something about that. We're supposed to be getting two DLCs. Um, more than likely, one of them will be about Leviathan, but as far as what the other DLC is going to be about, we, st we have no idea. So there's a huge amount of mystery there. There's also the PC port of this game that's coming and a lot of people are looking forward to that as well. Especially when you consider the performance mode in the game didn't quite hit 60 frames per second, at least not without compromising resolution in multiple areas. So this is going to be the definitive way to play the game. Now here is the big question. Is this next game that Yoshi P and his team working on Final Fantasy 17. There was a translation from a Chinese article here that has what Yoshi P had to say about working on 17, where he says, first of all, at least Final Fantasy 14 is a work I'll remain involved in for the rest of my life, so I'll be involved in it before I officially retire, and even after I retire. As for your question of whether I'll participate in the development of Final Fantasy 17 or 18, 
I think it's almost enough to do some other games. If you always do the same series of work, you'll get the same expectations every time. And developing a Final Fantasy work is far more painful and difficult than people think. For example, I personally would leave the plot completely aside and challenge the experience of exploring the open world to the fullest. But after proposing the idea, it's met with the rebuttal of how can you ignore the plot. This time too, when I said I wanted to do real-time combat, I was accused of saying Final Fantasy without turn-based command system could be considered Final Fantasy. I have been in development of Final Fantasy for many years. I also want to challenge new things with more new friends. Of course, that's what I'm thinking at the moment, and no one can say for sure what the future holds. So it seems that he is not as interested in working on a new Final Fantasy game. I mean, after all, when you are working on a Final Fantasy game, as he mentions, there's restrictions, right? Like you can't just do anything you wanna do. You can, and Final Fantasy 16 and a lot of the modern Final Fantasies have proved that. But whenever you do, you're met with a ton of opposition. And when you think about the types of games that Yoshi P says that he wants to develop here, you know, games that are open world, games that are action focused, it seems to me he would probably do a lot better if he was working on a brand new IP, something that was completely his own and not really bound to what Final Fantasy needs to be or has to be. Of course, this is kind of the problem that Final Fantasy has continuously ran into. You know, everyone kind of wants to make their own game, but then there's expectations and desires that the fans have. And the desires of the fans and the directions that the developers want to take the game often clash, because the developers usually want to develop their own type of game that is called Final Fantasy, and not necessarily what people tend to expect of Final Fantasy. I'm not here to tell you which way is right or wrong, and I think I've expressed my ideas on those things quite a few times. However, there are certain expectations that people do have of FF and there are things that they specifically want from this series and things that uh, the developers are trying to deliver but they're also wanting to do their own thing. And so again, I think that's always going to cause some strife for Final Fantasy, for sure. If CBU3 and Yoshi P are the ones working on Final Fantasy 17 though, while I did enjoy a lot of things about Final Fantasy 16, I hope that they take the feedback from Final Fantasy 16 into whatever they do next. Whether that's a new IP or whether that's Final Fantasy 17, I think quite a number of the criticisms there were valid about the questing structure, about a lot of the RPG elements. It was still a game that I enjoyed in a lot of ways overall. I think the title of my review, if you guys saw my review on Final Fantasy 16, I titled it Excellent Meet Imperfection. I think it quite simply sums up how I felt about the game. There was a lot of excellent things in there. There were a lot of design problems and issues that I had, and I hope that they're looking at what the fan feedback is on Final Fantasy 16, and they're taking that into account with FF17 or the new IP or whatever it is that they're making next. And hopefully it'll be a better game because of that. But what do you guys think this new game that Yoshi P and his team are working on is? Subscribe, hit the bell icon, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll see you all in the next video.